This is task two. Before we start task two, you need to understand what the task is asking. It's all about a company called Instant Hire Purchase. Now a hire purchase is very similar to a loan. Basically what happens is the customer will pay a deposit and the example used here is £1,000. So they pay that £1,000 deposit and let's say they were looking to buy a car for £6,000. That means they've got £5,000 left to pay. Now after a certain number of years, and again in this example we've got four years, then the customer will have made enough payments and they will have covered that £5,000 cost plus any interest and therefore they'll be able to take ownership of that car. Now the question, most of it is all about trying to calculate what the annual percentage rate is. That is the interest rate that is going to be charged on this higher purchase, on the loan part of it. Now this table is used the table that you're provided with in the question is called apr.table.csv. Now, if you were to open that file, you'll notice that it's actually just a set of figures. So if we have a look and see, there we go. You can just see it's all a load of data and it hasn't been formatted in any way, shape or form. So when you come to do that part, you'll look at formatting it so that it's a bit easier to understand like this one. But it's still a little bit awkward. Basically, this is a lookup table, but there's four different options up here. Let's say that we've got this example, a 17-year-old customer. So we have a look and we can see that the 17-year-old customer falls within this range here. If they were 25, they would fall within this range. So we'll go for 17 years old. They've got a full driving license. So if we have a look, they're in this part here. They've got a good employment status. So here's our employment status. We've got good and risky. So they're in this part. So we've narrowed it down to these three columns. We then find out they've got a guarantor. Now a guarantor is somebody who says, well look, if they default on the payments, in other words, if the person doesn't make the payments, I'll cover those payments. So they've got a guarantor, so we know that that's yes. So therefore we've hit this column here. Uh, we can also see that they've got a credit rating of greater than or equal to 4.1, which just confirms it's this column. Because if it had been less than 3, then we'd actually be in this column here, because it could be any for a guarantor. It could be yes or no. Let's take another example. Let's look at somebody with a provisional driving licence. So we're going to be in this part of the table. And let's say they've got a good employment rating. Or we can see it's going to be one of these two columns. It doesn't matter whether they've got a guarantor or not because it can be any value. And let's say that their credit rating, that is how good the credit agencies think that they're going to be at paying back the money based on their credit history, based on what their savings are, based on what their credit card payments have been in the past and what their loan repayments have been in the past. Let's say their credit rating is 3.1. So we can see we're going to be in this column. So we can see the 17 year old, we would refuse them an APR would refuse to give them a loan. Whereas when we were in this column here, we could see that we would offer them a loan. It was greater than or equal to three, so we would offer them a loan with an APR of 19.3%. So that's going to be used to calculate the APR. Now, the first thing that you're going to be asked to do is to produce an interface. I just want to talk you through that interface first of all. We can see here that we've got somebody who is self-employed and you're going to be able to select them from a drop-down list. You'll be able to enter a credit rating using this slider and you can see already that the API is changing as I change that credit rating. We can change whether they're provisional, full or non-driving license. You'll see when we select non that it goes to a red border and it says you're not eligible. Uh, if we go back to full, we can see that. If we take away the guarantor, it hasn't made a difference in this case. If we change the age of somebody, let's uh, add an extra 10 years to them, we can see it makes a difference. So this is what you're looking to produce. is something where the number data can be input, but it will calculate using that table what the APR is going to be. That is the interest rate.